Hi, I'm Jane Dunwald, and this is the second in a series on the cornerstones of creativity and how they intersect with the Creative Strength Training Program. We talked about curiosity last time, and the other three, in case you didn't see that video, and I highly recommend that you go back and watch it. It's, it's brief. The four cornerstones are curiosity, clarity, community, and confidence. So I'm focusing on clarity this time around, and you might wonder, what is clarity anyway, Jane? Because on the face of it, clarity means getting clear, right? But it means so much more than getting clear, or so, it's so much broader than getting clear. When, you're, when you achieve clarity, first of all, you know how you want to spend your time and how you don't want to spend your time. You know what you like and what you don't like. When you know what your preferences are, that can make a big difference in your life because you don't waste your time doing things thinking that you like them, for starters, and we all get hooked by that one or doing them because somebody else talked you into it, which is another hook. So achieving clarity means, on one hand, letting go of the hooks that other people can get into us or that other activities can get into us that we don't even really want to be part of. But it also means having a certain sort of vision. And from the aspects of creative strength training, when you've got clarity, you begin to see creative opportunities all around you, and then you know which ones you want to engage with. Now, I love poetry, and so I've picked out another poem. I did one in the first video that I'd love to share with you, and this is called Fuel, and it's written by Naomi Shihab Nye. Even at this late date, sometimes I have to look up the word receive. I received his deep and interested gaze. A bean plant flourishes under the rain of sweet words. Tell what you think. I'm listening. The story ruffles 20 leaves. Once my teacher set me on a high stool for laughing. She thought the eyes of my classmates would whittle me to sighs, but they said otherwise. We'd laugh too if we knew how. I pinned my gaze out the window on a ripe line of sky because that's where I was going. Our fuel, what energizes us and keeps us going, that's propelled by the clarity of our vision. Sometimes the vision in a schoolroom is kind of a narrow vision, but we have to keep our own vision, and that's related to clarity. And creative strength training helps us keep that vision, helps us find that clarity when we don't really know where it is, because we have activities that invite us to hone in on what we care about. We have each month an art tutorial, and in 2020, the focus is on working in a series. And before we can work in a series, we have to figure out what we care about. I think of it as a three-legged stool. On one hand, one leg is the materials, and for me that might be paint and paper, and for you that might be thread and fabric, might be a camera, might be photographs. Then the second leg of the stool is the process, and that could be photography, or that could be stitching, or that could be quilting, or that could be sculpting. Those are all pretty uh, available to everybody. So we have to figure out what are our preferences? Where's the clarity around the materials that I use? Where's the clarity around the techniques that I use? But the stool will tip over if I don't know what I care about. And that's my preference when it comes to my passion and, and what in the world moves me, what interests me. And that's where curiosity comes in. The very first tenant, cornerstones of creativity. And so what we do in the Creative Strength Training Program when we're working on this art tutorial aspect, we figure out which materials people want to use and we figure out what techniques they want to use. And that's going to be different across 100 people. But then we also have to figure out what we care about. And I've got exercises that lead everybody through the sorts of things that we have to think about in order to really drill down and distill to get clear. It's that clarity thing so that we know what we care about. And then it's pretty straightforward. So that'll be the focus in 2020, and that's an aspect of seeking clarity that we benefit from because when we can do it in our own work, even if we've never considered ourselves artists or done studio work at all, anyone can tap into this process. And when you tap into that process, it starts to ripple out into the whole world around you, and clarity becomes the gift that it really is. But it's a gift that you have practiced and a gift that I have mentored and a gift that your friends and companions around you have fostered and that's part of the community. So I hope if this interests you, you might look at my website, read about creative strength training, see if it's right for you. 
And in any event, I'm hoping that clarity will become part of your active practice and will become a companion to you each day. It's a good thing.